Hey student, how are you? Watch this video and learn how to practice and improve your English writing. And I'll be giving you three tips to help you out. Coming up! Hey friends, Teacher Briggs here to help you talk to anyone, anywhere, anytime in English. First of all, thank you. It is Wednesday. I imagine you had better things to do, but you are here, so thank you. And hey you, Instagram, I'm here. Thank you for joining and for watching. I am on YouTube, and on YouTube you can see the slides. So thanks for joining, thanks for participating, thanks for participating in the chat and sending messages. I really enjoy the vibe, I really enjoy when you guys participate and you post your questions. I don't always get to answer your questions, but I'm always thinking about, okay, maybe this question can become a video, and that's what I do. I am always looking at your questions in the chat or in the comments or, you know, direct messages on Instagram. So... I'm always thinking about you. Now, my friends, let's move on. How to practice and improve your English, your English writing. Three tips. The tips are very nice. And these are things I do and I'm going to talk to you guys about. Before I give you the first thing, before I start talking about the lesson, I have a free ebook, Instagram, check my bio. Free ebook, the link is in the description of this video. Make sure to download. You will get this ebook where I give very nice strategies, so make sure to check it out. Now, why? Why? Why, Peter Briggs? Why should I write? Why is it important? Well, let me give you some science, okay? Because I'm a nerd. <laughs> According to a study done by researchers at UCLA and Princeton, people who take notes by hand, and I don't have a pencil with me, Maybe I have a pen in my bag, let's see, because I have many things in my bag. I have money, I have a wallet, but no, I don't have a pen. All right. <laughs> People who write by hand are likely, probably, okay, are likely to remember important information than people who only type notes. So there is a good chance you will remember more than people who type. Tick, 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 tick. Do you type a lot? Do you write a lot? Let me know in the chat, okay? Now, why is this important? Because I want to show you some science that proves that writing is relevant, okay? Of course, we want to speak English. Of course, we want to be fluent. But there are other things that you can do that will stimulate your brain to help you become a fluent speaker. And hello, we have a donation. Wow, that is awesome. Thank you, Fabiano. This means a lot to me. When you make a super chat, you help the channel, you help me create more content, more videos, okay? So that, thank you very much. Now, that's why I'm showing you the science behind it, because I need you to understand that writing is relevant. So when you start writing, my friend, you will remember more information. It'll be easier for you to remember. I'm not saying that if you start writing right now, tomorrow you will be perfect. No, this is a process, okay? Another study, because today I am on fire. I like studies. I started making the video and I, I feel hot now. <laughs> Energy. Guys, another study made by uh, the Washington University of St. Louis in 2012. And I'm reading this, okay, because I'm not going to remember everything. But they said that uh, people who type notes on the computer, they lose a lot of the information. They forget a lot of the information in... 24 hours. So 24 hours after they tick, 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 typed the information, they forget. They tend to forget. Okay. However, people who write, the winners, people who really use their hands and write, they will remember. They may remember the information one week later, seven days later. So look at that. Look at science telling you to start writing. Forget typing. Typing is cool and it's practical, but start writing because you will remember information. So when uh, students, many students ask me this, uh, Priscilla, do you have a recommendation of an app so that I can study vocabulary? And my favorite app is this. That's my favorite app. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
this is my favorite app because this works this helps your memory okay you're gonna write things and this will work on your physical memory science is showing that you will remember things okay now another benefit science shows that you will tend to speak more clearly as you improve your ability to write you will improve your ability to write compositions okay maybe you don't need to write compositions maybe that's not your english goal and that's okay no problems however when you practice writing you help your brain health okay your brain becomes sharp and it also expands your creativity because writing demands more requires more uh, thinking more exercise it, uh, it helps your ability to communicate more efficiently gomez thank you so much you guys are amazing ricardo thank you so much for the donation i think it's ricardo right because it's abbreviated so our gomez thank you so much it means a lot to me now guys look at all the benefits that writing can bring to your english it makes you more creative it helps your brain you remember information for much longer than when you just type and you communicate more efficiently i'm not saying you have to stop using your favorite apps type no everything is good okay everything can help you but start considering writing not many students like to do that okay now to tip number one have a journal and this thing that i showed you here one two three these are my journals okay i have more these are my 2020 journals january january february march march april june june july next month and this month actually i need to get a new one <laughs> what is this they are journals okay and this is a very good way to start writing and it's easy to do and why is that of course i'm not gonna show you what i write because it's the journal it's personal <laughs> um, but let's see if i can show you something here no it's very personal i can't show uh what is the idea having a journal is a simple uh, strategy why you don't need to write a lot you don't need to write long and long texts no no pressure you want to start writing so if you start by having a journal this can really help you out wow that's a competition game on fabiano thank you so much again for the donation it means a lot to me thanks a lot guys you guys rock i love you all now in this journal you are going to write about your life yes your life is the most important thing in this journal that's what you're going to do you are going to write things that you are happy about grateful you know about your dreams about your feelings about your accomplishments things connected to your life and guys i don't write a lot okay i don't have time to write a uh, I, I i i am very grateful but i don't have a long list of uh, <laughs> infinite things i'm grateful for of course i'm grateful but every day i, I write a little bit okay I'm not, i can't show you a lot uh, i write one page i don't need to write a lot okay and i write my to do you know not here i have another another uh, notebook where i write my to do's okay so you will see that as time goes by you will do this more easily first it'll be a little difficult i'm not gonna lie okay i always tell my students to do that i always recommend my students to do that so in the beginning it is a challenge you have to oh my god i have to sit down and write but as you keep doing this this will become part of your day that you can't do without today i can't every day i have to write a little bit because it's helpful to me i feel good knowing about the things that i'm happy that my dreams writing about my dreams writing about the things that i am grateful for so this is a great exercise 
And when you do this, you improve your structure, your English grammar. Many, I love grammar, okay? I, I think everything in balance, of course, in moderation. But this is a wonderful way to practice grammar passively because you will need to write. So you will start to think about the structures that are more challenging, that are a little bit more difficult for you. And in that way, you will have a better idea of what you have to watch on YouTube, my lessons. You will, you will see, mm, wow, I don't know how to make this phrase in the simple past. Okay, so this is a good lesson for me to study. So you will see that as time goes by, you will learn a lot of structure because of this simple one page in your journal that you write every day. So this is something that you have to start doing, guys. It's a game changer okay and remember write because as i showed at the beginning of this lesson there is scientific proof that writing is much more efficient than just typing words on your computer or typing words on your cell phone okay and guys thank you so much for all the love and all the hearts you're giving me on instagram Mwah! and you guys come on the game is on on instagram they are giving me a lot of hearts so how about giving me likes you can do this. Hit the like button. And if you are here for the first time, I hope you are enjoying this lesson. I hope you are enjoying the vibe. Subscribe because from Monday to Friday, I have many different kinds of English lessons. And if you have done all that, share. Because sharing is caring. Now to tip number two. Use videos from YouTube. Now, what do I mean? I imagine that you guys watch my lessons. Like right now, uh -huh. you're watching my lesson. You are studying with me. So what I recommend is when you are here, you're watching, you are practicing your listening. Okay, that is amazing. And I want you to do that. But you need to turn this moment into an active moment. And as I said, when you write things down, you help your brain remember so let, let's suppose you watch a video, a 10 minute video, and after uh, the video is over, what can you do? You can write about the video. You can write down things that you learned in the video. If you learned an expression, maybe you, if you are here on YouTube, you can pause my video and you can see the examples that I wrote, that I showed uh, uh, on the slides that I prepared. Write down, you can try to create your examples. Be productive with the time you spend watching those videos on YouTube. I feel so happy when uh, followers on Instagram, because on YouTube that's not possible, so thank you, Instagram. I feel so happy when people on Instagram uh, mention me in their stories and they have the notebook, they have a, screen, a print screen of my video and they are writing. That's very good and it's really going to help you improve. So if you already do that, congratulations. You are being very productive and efficient with the time you spend on YouTube. And when I say uh, using the V, when I mention using the videos on Instagram, you don't need to watch only my lessons. You can watch other videos, okay? Short videos, maybe a three minute video, a five minute video about things that you enjoy. Not necessarily just an English lesson, okay? I, I think you, you have other interests, you have other things you like to watch and learn more about. So you can use the same strategy. And again, you don't need to write three, four, ten pages. No, you start small, then small, then go big, okay? So if it's difficult for you to write, it's because you don't have the habit of writing in English. So what you can do is you watch my lesson. And it's difficult for you to write. So how about start with a short phrase? What do you remember? Maybe two phrases, maybe three phrases. And you gradually build up your skill. So if it's difficult for you to write, don't be too ambitious. Start small, maybe 50 words or 30 words, 40 words. And build up your writing skills, okay? And, uh, oh, and hey, stay until the end of the video, because when the video is over, I will make a pose 
and I want you to print screen, you know, take a print screen and mention me in the stories. Some people are doing it. Thank you very much. But you have to mention me in the story. So I will try to repost. Today, some people mentioned me in the stories, but I couldn't repost. I don't know why. Not so techy, tech savvy as I thought it was. Anyway, tip number three is similar to tip number one. But now we are going to focus on the people who like to read. Some people like to read, but don't, don't have this practice, this habit of writing in English. So if you are that person, if you are always reading the news, you know, you, you have this habit of reading the news in the morning on the internet, or you have the habit of uh, uh, reading posts on, on, on the internet. I don't know if you have this habit, you can use that in your favor as well. So after you read uh, that text or that article or that page from a book, write a short explanation. Here I wrote a summary, okay? Uh, uh, an explanation summarizing the main points. This is going to be a very productive way to connect your moment of reading something you want. Remember, it has to be something you want to read. I don't want to force you to read all. Oh, read the New York Times. No, it has something that you, it has to be something that you that you want that you will feel good about. Okay, and after you have that moment, write down. Write a short explanation. And here I recommend the same strategy. If writing is difficult for you then it is time to respect your limitation and write, uh, how am I going to say this? And write short things, okay? Now, not a lot of information. Write a short summary, maybe a paragraph, okay? Be happy about writing a short paragraph in English. It takes time. It's progress, okay? Someone says here, I read novels online. That's good. So after you read those novels, write a short explanation about them. Bye. I love stationery. So <laughs> I'm always buying stuff. I'm a teacher, guys. I like pencils, pens, erasers. I like stationary things, you know, like I love that. <laughs> so I always write down things that I watch, that I read, that I'm in contact with. So this is something that I recommend you to do. And here, one thing that you can do that is a plus is after you, you read the text. Okay, awesome. Then you did what I recommended. You wrote it down. You took some notes. Amazing. Congratulations. You can take one more step. Remember, you're watching my lessons because you want to become a fluent English speaker. So how about practicing speaking about the thing you wrote? So after you read the text or you watched the video, you wrote down an explanation. How about getting your phone? And recording yourself. Oh, I just wrote about uh, uh, an article that I read about uh, dolphins. Dolphins are very nice creatures. They are very friendly and they are very smart. They can communicate with each other by sound. I have some things about the dolphins. I like dolphins. And that's it. You don't need to speak a lot. No pressure. Maybe two phrases. Maybe three phrases. So this is how you combine all the English skills to make you a better speaker, a better communicator, okay? Now, as I always, always say, all English skills are important, no matter what your level is. If you want to become a fluent speaker, you need to start working on all the English skills. Sometimes we focus too much on speaking. But then we ignore other skills or sometimes we focus too much on listening too. Oh no, I have to listen. I have to listen. Okay, but how about reading? How about working on vocabulary? How about working on writing? How about working a little bit on grammar? Because you need to learn some structures. You don't need to go bananas, go crazy. No, you don't need to do that. But you need a little bit of structure too. And by combining these skills properly you will be able to achieve incredible results. It'll help you improve your memory, as I said, your comprehension, your skill, and above all, it'll make you a more creative person. And this is very important. Creativity will help you in every aspect of your life. You know, when you are with your friends, when you are at work, when you need to make difficult decisions, imagination is key, okay? So it's, it's very important. Now... The grand finale. Time for the picture. I'll make a pretty face. I'll try. <laughs> no, born this way. Anyways, okay, so 
I don't know how to make different faces, so I always do like this. <laughs> no, I won't. I won't. I won't like this. <laughs> Now for Instagram, why am I doing this? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, my friends, that is all for tonight. Thank you so, so much for watching, everybody. If I can ask you one thing here on Instagram, excuse me, on YouTube, please share. When you share this lesson, you really help me, but not just me. You help other English students understand the importance of writing in English. So you are helping the world. So thank you for sharing. Thank you for watching, and I will see you tomorrow for another English lesson. And thanks for the donation, Fabiano Gomes. Thank you so much. This really helps me uh, work more here on my channel. Thank you, and bye-bye.